Hey, what's up? The Brew Dudes back here with another beer. Oscar Blues Dells Pell L. Now this here is a huge, voluminously hopped mother of Pell L's. Okay, Oscar Blues in 2002 becomes the first U.S. craft brewer to can its own beer with our flagship Dells Pell L. Now, Oscar Blues is known for canning their beers. Okay, so they have this Dells Pale L. Bam. That's pretty cool. Dells Pale L. Just a sticker, not the glass. This Pale L here is 6.5% alcohol by volume, and it's 65 IBUs. Nice and hopped, in a can, brewed and bottled, Oscar Blues. I've had this one before. This is part of my holiday special with Oscar Blues. If you saw my Oscar Blues reveal, I have a whole list of beers that I'm going to be tasting. And we're going to start it off with the OG for OB. Original for Oscar Blues. Let's pop this and drink it. Right out the can, I smell the grain, I smell the barley, then I smell hops. I don't smell a lot of the alcohol, some fruits, and that's really it. Let's pour this bad boy. Look at that color. It's like a dark honey, like an orange honey. If you ever gone to like a farmer's market or something, you buy yourself different types of honey and they sell that one honey that's kind of like orange honey. That's kind of how it is. Now, like I said, I've had this before. And it is one of my favorite Pell L's. Nice hop Pell L. That's what I'm still getting. I'm still getting fruity, some floralness. A little bit of alcohol. A little bit of caramelized sugar. Look at that color. A little bit hazy. It has this almost reddish mahogany tone to to a kind of orange honey nice thick see that <sighs> smells delicious time to taste salute That's clean and balanced the whole way. It starts off nice and crisp. The carbonation there bites your tongue a bit, but it's it it's, it's feels nice and comfortable when it happens. Then the beer reaches its, its midpoint. I'm getting some of the the bitterness from the hops, the sweetness of the malt. It's a bit sticky to your lips. A little caramelized sugar, some kind of honey. Then it ends fruity floral with some honey back notes and a little bit of burnt sugar and the bitterness just kind of flows all the way through uh, it's a great pale ale um, I have it regularly I usually always have it in my fridge if not one can I usually get the bigger one which is I don't know they call it the you know the tall can but if I don't find the tall can I'll buy myself a little six pack it's awesome Definitely a beer for you to go to taste. There's really not much more to say than, than salute. I'm going to finish this beer. And hope that you go search it. That way you can enjoy it and experience it like I am. It's definitely one to go get. It's palatable. It's drinkable. It's flavorful. All you want in a beer. And it comes in a nice can vessel thank you for watching please subscribe and like stay tuned well no look forward i guess is the term for my future oscar blues beers remember i'm still in the holiday special oscar blues holiday special where i'm trying a bunch of their beers back to back not in one day but in videos so look for them because they're coming next I believe the next beer um is going to be
think it's going to be good night. So with that said, good night or good morning, depends on where you're at. And thank you for watching. With that said, the brood dude is out.